In this tutorial we're gonna talk about a new and a very useful tool in SimLab Composer, which is the Quick Access Toolbar. Let's begin by importing a sketch of 3D model of a bedroom to SimLab Composer. Click on any geometry in the scene and you will notice the Quick Access Toolbar hovering near the object's center. The first button, the toolbar, toggles the transformation tool on and off. The second button allows you to snap the object to a different geometry. So if I were to select the teddy bear, press the snap to object button and click on the floor, the teddy bear's body would be positioned in the place where I clicked. Notice though that the toy's body was moved, but not the whole toy. This is due to selecting the body only and not the whole assembly when we use the snap tool. To resolve this issue, we can either go up in the selection from the object tree until we reach the highest level in the assembly, or we can hold shift on the keyboard and double click on the selected object to go one level up, and we keep repeating the process to get to the highest level in the assembly. Another way would be to use the up and down arrows in the toolbar to navigate the assembly's level. And once we reach the highest level, we can snap the object to any place we find fit. The third button, the toolbar, creates a copy of the selected object in its original place. Keep in mind that you can also copy objects in the scene by pressing Ctrl and C on your keyboard. The last button, the toolbar, is a quick material conversion function. Clicking this button will open up a 4 elements pie menu, each with 3 sub-elements. The first item in the menu allows us to convert the selected object's material to one of the 3 types of glass, dark, mirror, and light glass. The second one converts the object's material to an unreflective matte material, which could be rugged, rubber, or plain. The third option is to convert the material to a rugged, rough, or shiny metal. And the last option would be to convert the material to a rugged, rough, or shiny plastic. These materials are the most commonly used materials in almost any scene, so gathering them up in a quick access menu eases the process of adjusting materials for your imported 3D model. With the batch sheet selected, click on the rough plastic option. Notice that the material retained its original white color, but the type has changed from default material to a plastic material. And if you view the reflection attribute, you would also notice that the roughness strength was automatically set to about 0.4, which would render a rough looking surface. Click on any wooden part of the bed and from the quick access menu convert its material to a rough plastic. Similar to the bed sheet, the material type and reflection values has changed while the texture within the material was retained. If we were to convert the material to a rugged material, a normal map and a mob map would appear in their respective channels within the material. These maps are generated by advanced algorithms based on the texture map in the material. Notice that all the objects sharing a similar original material have the newly transformed material applied to them. This would save a lot of time since you would not have to convert the materials for each object in the scene. Keep in mind that you can always adjust the converted materials attributes as you see fit for the scene after transforming the materials. So for the wall, we are going to increase the roughness slightly to get a more diffused appearance. The Quick Access Toolbar in SimLab Composer is a very handy and easy to use tool that can benefit both beginners and advanced users. It encompasses the primary repetitive functions that designers need along with the Smart Material Convergent tool, making it a powerful, within reach and an essential tool in SimLab Composer.